Hi everyone, I'm just popping on here right now to let you know that I finally <laughs> buckled down and I have some ornaments back in the store. I have gotten so many back in stock requests from you guys over the last year, um, ever since, you know, they ran out of, I ran out last winter. Um, so I, I've been putting it off because <laughs> it's time consuming and the year's just gone on and on and I'm realizing, oh my, we're getting close to the holidays, we're getting close to the end of the year, I've got to, I've got to finally buckle down and do this. So I have slightly different design from, from last year. As you know, I, I'm not able to get the pins, but you guys really seem to like the wood disc ones that I cut from the branch, initially from that pine bough that I started with years ago. And then last year when I was doing that, still that mystery bush tree thing that grows along my creek, I still don't know what that is. But this last winter, I finally got around to doing something that I should have been doing all along ever since I planted my apple trees 11 years ago or something. I finally pruned them. They were getting so big and overgrown. So during the winter, when you're supposed to do it, I finally dragged out a ladder and Jake helped me went up there. We just cut off a whole bunch. So basically it's taking a bit of the apple tree wood, which apple wood is fairly hard. It doesn't have a, a fancy thick bark like pine does, but it's a nice, very hard wood. So I decided to use it. And so this is what it starts out like. And this is what it ends up like. I think they're pretty. I played around with, you know, maybe I'll come up with a different design for this year, and I still am. I'm experimenting with different things, but I keep returning back to the one idea that you guys seem to really, really like, which is this tree of life. So I've started with uh, the green tree of life I have, which is a little uh, leaf-shaped green sequins, which I think are pretty. Um, and it's the gold paint that I put on it in a few different layers to give it a more 3D effect. This particular design doesn't seem to call for crystal-like beads like I used to do on the other. So I found these wooden beads at Michael's, all a different assortment of different kinds. And I thought that worked really well with this hemp, you know, hemp rope. So, and then I signed, each one is signed on the back for the year. So I have that design. And then I decided I would also do them in blue. So this is like an octagon shaped blue sequin for this, this tree. And they're all signed. So every disc is a different shape and a different size because it's all coming from branches. And as we know, branches are all different and each one is going to be different from the other. Every tree is going to be different because I paint them all by hand, one by one, by one, by one, by one. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it is time consuming. I mean, I do enjoy it, but it does take some time. So I have what I have. I'm going to put it up there if you get the sold out sign when you go and try and out of stock. When you go and try to buy one it's because that's how fast they went but i will continue to put more up there you just have to keep checking back okay so um yeah that's it i'm so happy that you like them and i promise to make as many as i possibly can linda the big old elf is back in business <laughs> anyway i'm really really happy that you like them they're very rustic this is my more rustic design which Definitely fits my decor because I live in a 1909 carriage house and I like I like kind of rustic things anyway. So I hope you like this design and uh, I promise I will try to make as many as I can. So go to lindaedderstore.com. That's where you'll find them. All right, I will get back to work. See you around.